I'm Anthony Hudson. Thanks for joining us for Sunday Afternoon Football. Fairly low crowd in here today. Gary Lyon joins me for this match. Welcome, Gaz. Yes, thanks, Hutto. A real pleasure to be here for this game today. Today we have Adelaide coming up against Port Adelaide. And the crowd are appreciating it. The banners look great as the players get set to run through them. It's a big midfield battle today. Whichever team can get on top of the middle of the ground will work out winners today. They're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banners are looking great. The captains of both sides make their way to the middle for the coin toss. Adelaide winning the toss. Round 13. Neither side inside the top eight. They're looking to build some confidence with a win today. What an exciting matchup we have here today. We're underway with the opening bounce. Taps it down. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? This is a great game, Hutto, and we can just sit back and enjoy it. Tap came from O'Brien. Off the deck. Now we'll get a ball up. One down. Rockcliffe collects it. The umpire will ball it up. Big thump from O'Brien. Duday controlled the difficult ball. Prout gets on the end of that handball. Ball spills. He takes the shot. No problems with that kick from Sloan. Look at them celebrate that effort. The Crows gets the first goal on the ball. O'Brien won the hit out. Sloan hacking it out of there. Easily takes the mark. Moved on by Atkins. Well picked up. Gets a quick kick away. Ball off hands. Wins the race to the ball. Harding it, brushed off easily. A chance to reload the attack now. He drives it. Nice. Got under it. Sinks the slipper into it. Takes it well. Goes with the kick. Taken well at ground level by Folk. The umpire gives a free kick against Seedsman. Burn Jones marks it. Puts it on the boot. Power Pepper takes it strongly. Moves it by foot. Takes a simple grab. Testing shot outside 50. Looks up with the kick. Doing well with the mark. Needs a big kick if he's going to put this through. This kick to tie up the game. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Looking to rebound with the kick. Marks that ball uncontested. Hardigan puts it on the boot. Gibb does well to mark. Got boot to ball. Finds himself in space and marks. Has a man running for him. A clean pickup. Got the hands free. Takes possession. Does well to cut off the kick. Uses it now. Gets into a good position to take that. Elects to kick. Decides to keep it alive. And the ball ends up over the line. What can you tell us, Gaz? It's a really good contest out there right now, and it's great to watch. Rosie hunted him down. 
brilliant chase. Kick goes astray, and it's out on the full. Kick by Williams. Watts determined to reach the ball. Goes short by hand. This kick for square enough. Troubled the journey, but unable to keep it online. Port Adelaide only trailing by less than a goal. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Puts boot to ball. Great mark in the pack. Uses it by foot. Kelly with the mark. Handballs. Ends up with Duda. Burgoyne collects the loose ball. Sutcliffe. A chance to grab the lead for his side. He acknowledges the crowd. And it's a lead for Port Adelaide. Back in the middle. Won it down. Opportunity for Seedsman. Releases by hand. Crowd links with a teammate who can run. Picked up by Burton. That tackle just too high. The kick for Burton. Gallucci runs after the ball. Kicks out of the congestion. Gets into some space to mark this. A chance to put them in front. Adelaide finds a way to get that one through. Seedsman celebrating hard. Adelaide, go back in the lead again. Umpire ready to resume play. Thump clear. Did well not to confuse himself. Duday steals possession. Fogarty finds his man on the move. Off hands from Burn Jones. Picked off the deck. Releases the handball. Gets around the imaginary opponent. Unable to create the space. Beautiful tackle, Hutto. Finds a target. Westoff keeps that one low. Over the top of the pack. Umpire calls for the ball. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? This is a classic game we're seeing right now. Fogarty had the pressure bearing down. He flicks it over. Chose to kick it. The ball finds itself to the boundary. Ball tossed back in. Fogarty hurls it away. Shows some physicality. And now we'll have a ball up. Won the hit out. Moves the ball by foot. The umpire calls for a stoppage. Guides it down. Gathers it now. A chance here to convert for Port Adelaide. 20 metres from home. Kick this, and they're in front. He's enjoying that goal. Port Adelaide take back the lead. Clears the contest. Finds the loose ball. Just put it on the booth. Cleanly picked up. Keys links up with a chance to run. Collected by Crocker. Thank you. Port Adelaide in front of the opening chains. They lead it by one. Port Adelaide have come to play. They've got themselves in the game and need to push on now. What stands out for you, Gaz? Port Adelaide trailing the clearance numbers, but it's not a big issue for them because of their defence. Much appreciated, Gaz.
ready to go for the second turn. Centre bounce. Thumps it clear. Wasting a lot of effort there. He has the ball. Drops the mark. Dug it out. A chance to put a second goal on the ball. That was sweet. They put through another. Sloan getting the crowd involved. Adelaide hit back and grab the lead. O'Brien thumps it clear. Getting pushed out of the way was O'Brien. A chance for Motlop. Hacking it out of there. Doing well to intercept that kick. Hartland. Nice mark under pressure. Rockcliffe has resources out wide. Jonas there to mop up. Use the hands and gives away the free. Lynch going for number one. Fair finish was up from the bottom. Adelaide with a narrow lead. Searching for a teammate. Decides to play on. Gets a touch to the ball. Scoops up the ball. Jonas works the ball up the ground. Can't take the mark. Releases the handball. Ball gets cut off. Pal Pepper gets in the way. Wrong foots his opponent. Gives it. Don't argue. He gains possession. Rockcliffe is streaming past and gets the footy. Brown gains some territory. Collects the loose ball. Sweeping handball. Sends it back to Pal Pepper. Coughed up by Gibbs. Sends it clear of the contest. Marked by McKay. Looks to move it by foot. A strong pack mark. A chance to put one through here for Adelaide. Stuck the bits out there and held on to it. 40 metres from home. Gibbs holds the trigger. Sees the opportunity and was able to take it. Gets his first. His teammates rush over. That's two in a row for the Crows. The lead is now 12. Adelaide are getting first use from their ruckman. Scoops it up with quick hands. He's got the football now. And the mark will be paid. Do that. Drives it long. Takes a nice mark. Ball collected. Turned it over. Burton finds a way to hang on. Great attack on the ball carrier. Boak is blowing hard after that effort. Slams it home. That will settle the nerves. Gets his first on the ball. Celebrating hard. It's under two goals now. We resume hostilities. Fogarty just swats it away. Pal Pepper hit the man hard. Goes by hand. McKay hits him hard. McKay just threw it. Burgoyne with a low spearing kick. Decides to play on. He gets above the crowd. Manages to get a hand to him. Smith just goes bang. Penetrating handball is in his possession. Fends off the tackler. The mark has been taken. Seedsman with a short hand pass. He's got the footy in his hands. That goal is a cracker. He puts through his first goal. Atkins couldn't be happier with that goal. Now they lead by 12. He did really well there and gets the reward. Great bit of play that resulted in that goal. The power is struggling in front of goal today, and it's costing them. Bad kicking is bad football. Brown releases by hand. A big tackle there. Great tackling technique. Stengel doesn't want to let his teammates down with this kick. 40 metres from home, almost directly in front here. He drives it towards goal. That is a stunning goal. Pretty happy with that one. Adelaide, go to Port Adelaide. Boat 18. We're back in motion. 
the Crows could win the ball out of the clearance and are capitalising. It's much easier to score when you're always on the front foot. Has a runner alongside him. Moves the ball along the wing. Intercepts the ball well. Duda drives the kick. Even leading the race to the loose ball. Keys cans it into open space. Landed in his back on this occasion. A low stabbing kick. Nice work for Bogarty. Goes by foot. Takes a strong mark. Crocker unloads one towards goal. That one will really lift him. He's enjoying every second of it out there. He celebrates hard after that. Adelaide has three in a row. Adelaide by four goals. Punched away. Up for grabs for Brown. Gets the loose ball. Fogarty with quick hands. He gets his hands on the footy. A mark by Colucci. 25 metres out. He decides to go for home. Colucci loves that goal. The Crows by five goals. Dixon clears the contest. Even rushes with the kick. Doesn't take the mark. Sutcliffe has a chance to put a second goal on the ball. Sutcliffe kicks it out, and the ball will be coming back. A piercing kick from Talia. Stands tall and marks. Stabs at the kick. The ball finds West off. This will have to be his very best kick to score from this far. Watts choosing to play on. He's a good second term. See the scores. The Crows 49 and Port Adelaide 19. Adelaide have had a solid first half and will look to show more of the same in the second. Gary, does anything stand out in the stats? Port Adelaide are giving up too often on possession. They need to lower their eyes and hit a target when going forward. Cheers, Gaz. Both sides taking a much-needed rest at the long break. The second half just moments away. The third quarter about to get underway. Back in the middle now. Tap down. And now O'Brien. He wins possession. Keys, the better man there. 50 metres out. He gives it a ride. Doesn't carry. And through from behind. Looking for options now. Hartley wins the ball in the air. Decides to kick. Picked up now. Hardigan can link up through hands. Started the kick line and it never came back. Adelaide beginning to apply their supremacy on the scoreboard with a lead of 51 to 19. Going for distance with the kick. The contest, no match for him. Good call, Hutto. Atkins with a poor kick out of play. Drives it long. Burton with an easy mark. Slams it on the boot. Simply outplayed his opponent. Motlock goes the long option. A strong pack mark. Bogarty leads all comers on the ground. He's on fire at the moment. Goes for the goals. Put the kick wide. And a behind. 33 points the difference. Hartlett unsure of the next move. Plays on with a driving kick. Takes the mark. Goes by foot. Ends up marking uncontested. With a driving kick. Takes that one strongly. Did well to get a hand in. 
McKay did well not to fumble. Finding the ball with ease. Give marks uncontested. Adelaide Crew allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. They continue to get beaten in this area. They'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Good mark and looks to send it back. Spills the mark. Mops up the loose ball. Picked off by Clurie. Couldn't complete the mark. Now it's a ball up. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? I'd really love it if these teams took the contest to the next level. Thank you, I'll have it. Punches are clear. Bounce works for Dixon. Finds this one all by himself. 50 metres from home. A must-kick goal here. You just got to do better. A goal there could have got them going. Margin in a really tricky situation. Unsure of their next move. A solid mark for Gibbs. Uses it now. No doubt about that. Goal scoring opportunity for Williams. They really need a goal on the board now. Talia drives a low kick. Smith gets in a good position. Chose to kick it. The mark is taken by Glenn. Adelaide cab the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Ends up turning this ball over. Rockcliffe looks to build some momentum with this kick. The ball ends up with Westhoff. 40 metres from home. The fans hoping this one goes through to give them a goal from home. Margin in a really tricky situation. Talia plays on. Slick with the hands. Williams cuts it off. Drop punt straight through the middle. He's excited about that one. Port Adelaide close the gap to 25. O'Brien won the hit out. The bounce made it tough. Needs a bit of a rest. Picks up the loose ball. Clurie couldn't hang on to the ball. Stengel earns a free kick. He might kick a goal. The kick connects with the post. The margin is 26. Hartley weighing up the options now. Dishes it off with the ball now. Awkwardly got the handball out. Has it now. He goes it alone. Finds a way to go along the ground. Well, Hockey delivers with his first goal. They are starting to stamp their dominance on this game. Smiles all round. The umpire set the bounce to restart the game. Motlock finds possession. The handball hits the target. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? I'd love for the coach to send a message out there and tell these players to take the game on. Turns his opponent inside out. It's cut off by McKay. He sums up the situation and delivers. No doubt about it. That's his first. This kick has extended their lead. He loved that one. That's a really good team goal. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. Port Adelaide have struggled to get the ball forward or centre. Look at the inside 50 difference. They're getting well beat. Doing well was Motlock. Uses the hands instead of the body, and it's a free kick. It's a foot race to get this one. Great mark taken there. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Adelaide forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Louis going for number one. Disappointing kick. Adelaide starting to exert some dominance now. 
They lead 66 to 27. Watts spills it, keeps it moving. Linking by hand, gets a handball away. Packs it out of air. Marks all alone. Rosie keeps it moving, uses the bump. Fights the good fight. Fought hard to get a handball away. Dixon picks up the loose ball. Dixon throws the ball away. As we go into the final change, the scores are Adelaide 66, Port Adelaide 27. A big final term coming up. Adelaide fans are we hoping they can hold on and get a memorable victory today. What can you tell us from the stats, Gaz? Adelaide are doing a good job at cutting off the opposition attacks. Their intercept game is a key part of their defence. We have one quarter of footy ahead of us. Let's go. Can't afford any mistakes from here. They have to be perfect. Hands that ball to the opposition. Duday failing to get near it, Gaz. That's right, Hutto. He just can't seem to get into the game. Motlop brings it out of the pack. Dixon doesn't take the mark. What a goal by Rosie. Important kick here. And it goes through. They get around him after that effort. The margin a big one, but still plenty of time. About to resume play. Dixon aims for his man on the ground. Somehow got the ball out. Ball up in the centre square. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? I'm waiting for something to change the way this game's going right now. Licks with hands. It's a turnover. Puts it into space. They can link up now with the ball now. Just gave it away. Gets the handball away. The ball spills deep. It's the ball bubbling around. Gibbs just gets it onto the boot. He takes the mark. Jonas elects to kick. But didn't mark it. Hurried kick. Duday wants to keep it moving by hand. Missed the target. Dug out by Hartlett. He has to hold on to those. West off, not getting much of a gas. Maybe the coach needs to get on the phone to him and give him some instructions. Port Adelaide produced the margin. Talia searching for a teammate. Plays on from the kick in. Moves the ball by foot. Got the hands free. Here's Hartlett. He's got the footy in his hands. Soccer's at forward. Walks that one over. Going to be tough to get back in this one, but there is time. Considering the options on the kick in, Talia decides to go to himself. Getting in the way was Jonas. The ball mopped up. Picks it up. There'll be a ball up close to goal. Wins the ruck duel. Decides to soccer it. Had plenty of the ball. Crocker dug out the loose ball. Rosie needs a chance to rest. Finding the loose ball was Fogarty. Finds this and marks well. Decides to kick. Marks now and can send it back. Jonas uses it by foot. Moves it by foot. Does well to cut off the kick. Sinks the slipper into it. Hardigan takes it well. Puts it on the boot. Over the top of the pack. Adelaide haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Well, Hockey flicks it over. Manages to get a hand away. Takes possession. Gives the old don't argue. Lobs the handball. Wins possession. Slams it onto the boot. Marks in a bit of space. Puts boot to ball. Good mark there. Power Pepper lines up from long range. Massive kick here. They need to convert this opportunity. Gets some reward for his efforts. Port Adelaide now only trailed by 25. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. 
They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. Port Adelaide giving themselves a chance on the turnover, but they can't seem to be putting it on the scoreboard. Well, Hokey shot by hand. He just throws that ball. Looks up with the kick. The mark has been taken. Sutcliffe has resources out wide. Westhoff looks to convert this opportunity. Dixon did well to win that ball. 40 metres from home. Going for goal number one. He delivers with a drop pass. The time to celebrate. And don't they get around, Dixon? They're finding a way back into this. Hammers it. He gets his hands on the footy. Wants to keep it moving. Clears the congestion. Stengel uses the body well. 25 metres out. Should be relatively straightforward from here. If they just maintain position and hold onto the ball for a moment, they should be able to hold on here. Congratulated by his teammates. Adelaide, Lee Port Adelaide by 25. O'Brien with the punch. Goes for territory. Clurie gains possession. Burgoyne slick with the hands. Intervening brilliantly was Atkins. Great tackling there, Hutto. Quick hands, and they could be away here. He looks like he needs a spell. Sutcliffe takes the mark uncontested. Takes that one strongly. 45 metres out. Williams looking to put through another goal. They'll have to play it perfectly from here to get over the line. Kelly looks to get onto the football. They can create from this. Alex to kick. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Looks to move it by foot. Hardigan just throws. Motlock gets the opportunity to have a shot for goal. Not sure if he has the journey from here. He lays off the pass. Intercepted by Ebert. Drives it out of the pack. A big contested grab. He drives it. Intercepts the ball well. Movement by hand. Hits the target by hand. Intercepted. Ebert constricted by Crouch. Great tackle. The tackle slipped high and results in a... Adelaide coach will be happy with today's performance. Gary, any final thoughts? One side played a better brand of team football. You can't be too reliant on individual stars as much anymore, and that was the difference here. Thank you very much, Gaz. The final score of the match is Adelaide 72, Port Adelaide 48. That's it for us. We'll see you again next time. It's been my pleasure, Hutto, and we look forward to having everyone back soon.